So guys, Breeze Gaming TV here. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna explain the difference of using your forearm and your wrist. So uh, this is all based on personal experience. Uh, I'm not a pro gamer, but uh, I do have some accolades that might prove that I could be of help. Uh, personally, I play on a DPI of 400 DPI. I play on a 1.87 cents. Uh, I played in uh, five seasons of ESEA, seven seasons of SIVO, uh, rank A and minus in ESEA, uh, level 7 and face it, although I don't really play face it that much because it's not that popular here yet. Uh, I hope that it gets more popular because I do want to play like league matches on face it one day. So that's just just to tell me that's a disclaimer, okay? I'm not a pro. So take everything in this video with a grain of salt. So everything I show you, uh, I hope that this applies to you. If not, it's okay. Uh, I just uh, want to help people that might need some help on their aim and why do they when they should use their forearm or when they should just use their wrist movement. So today my camera is on here to show the stuff that I'm using with my mouse, okay? So when do you use the wrist? I'm gonna start with the wrist first because it's kinda, uh, well, I don't know, there's no order, but I'll start with the wrist. So the wrist, uh, how I like to use the wrist is I have a zone of comfort. So you see if I go to the left, I can go that far, but it's not that comfortable. If I go to my right, that's as far as I go, but it's not that comfortable. So what's my zone of comfort? Yeah, around here. Let's say around here, right? So if ever I need to kill any of these three people, I know that in this zone, that's my zone of comfort for my wrist movement. So like, if ever like I put my cross here, here, and I need to kill this guy, I can just use, use my wrist to go, and I can use my wrist, and I can use my wrist. Wrist, right? But if I want to kill someone far, see, see my wrist, it stops there and it's not that comfortable anymore. So what I do, I do instead of trying to use my wrist to compensate the goal of the other side, which is kind of impossible because I'm already blocked here. Well, from here, I'll just use my forearm. You see that? My forearm here, it's moving. Okay, you see that? My forearm's moving. I'm not looking at my, my screen anymore, so I'm not sure what I'm doing. But you see that I'm using my forearm to chill and to like, just to browse my field of vision, FOV. So, wrist, anything in the zone of comfort, wrist, wrist. Whoops. Hello, die please. Wrist. But if I want to kill someone more on my left side now, forearm, shoot. So, once you get good at this, you're going to be able to use both the components together because sometimes when someone, uh, maybe a teammate says, oh, someone's behind you or someone's on your far left, you know, NA calls, right? We don't we don't call stuff. We actually say like close left, far left because we're NA noobs. I'm just kidding. But if someone t tells me like, oh, close left, close left. Okay, close left where? This guy? Close left? I just use my, I use a little bit of form and then I use some wrist to adjust my aim on his head. Let's say I'm here. I use some forearm, then I use some wrist. Okay, so every time you use forearm, I use my forearm to go like if I need to go like 180, like like I know exactly where my 180 is sometimes. And also like your forearm swipes are not always straight line, right? We would love or 180 swipe to be on a straight line, but it's not always the case because we're not pro play players. And still, there's some pro players that aren't able to do a clean 180 horizontal swipe so that's why when you do a swipe you need to use your wrist to adjust after so let's say i want to uh, kill my far left guy forearm movement wrist forearm movement wrist forearm movement wrist 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 uh i could wrist but it's not very comfortable so what i can do in this case i can just like you know use your movement now now what you're going to do is incorporate some movement with it as well so what I'd suggest to do, go on this map, see what you can do with your with your wrist without hurting. And when you're here, like I can barely do it. I could, but it's not comfortable because my wrist is all the way flexed all the way here. That's where you know you should know like okay, that's my kind of point of like, you know, uh, field of vision that I could use with my wrist. And anything outside of that field of vision is going to be forearm it should be in your head it should be a muscle memory to you know which of the movements you use and also to incorporate movement in that that means that you're gonna run around like that mm. so some wrist put some maybe some wrist here some wrist some wrist 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 forearm wrist right so i hope that this video helped you a little bit 
I know it's kind of confusing. It's kind of tough to teach uh, people with just, you know, like a mouse like that. But I hope that's uh, as much as I could help you with the tools I have, you know. Uh, it would be cool for me to be right next to someone and teach them uh, the proper uses of their farms and their wrist. But unfortunately, I'm not right next to you. So I hope that this video could help you to determine um, what you should do. Again, I'm going to link my, uh, my DPI, my sensitivity that I use in game in the description below and also like what kind of mouse I'm using because maybe I don't know maybe some people might like my, my mouse I'm not sponsored unfortunately but I'll just put all that below just for your information because I know sometimes some people will ask me questions about that all right thank you and have a good day guys